Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's yours truly, Hungover Hermit. Why does my beard look... I need a barber. God damn it. Anyway. Cheers. I know a few people have been waiting for this. Actually, I received a really nice comment the other day. Of someone just telling me like they had never seen this show, but they but they're enjoying it and they like watching it with me. So we're back with Al Murray's time, gentlemen. Please, I tried to make this screen over here a little bit bigger. I don't know if I could make it any bigger without completely blocking myself out. Cause even if I lean, yeah, you see, gets in the way. So, hopefully, this is good for you. I don't know how else to do it. But, uh, forget that. Hope you guys just enjoy the show. I love watching shows with people. Y'all my people right now. Oh, and we are, we're over 400 of y'all. So, y'all really my people now. I got more subs than I got friends. Like, in like real life, I, I know them in person, friends type of thing. But anyway, let's not let's not get into that. Let's get into the show. Season one, episode five. Well, uh, uh, they call it series one. I call a series like the whole thing. So. I think I said in the last one, I don't know if y'all just call it different over in the UK, but you can't have a, I, I don't know. To me, it's season one, episode five, but whatever. It's all good. I'll adapt. Let's get into this. I don't know why all y'all homies in the UK seem to love me. You may, I, I'm not saying that you all do, but I'm just saying, y'all yeah, make up like 80% of my audience, so big shout out to the UK, man. Y'all keep this channel going. Let's get into this, man. Episode 5, Time Gentlemen, please. King Barstored. I don't even know. Let's go. <laughs> ah, good morning, Posty. Fine day, eh? Mmm, it's glorious. <laughs> Got the post, have you? <laughs> no. Huh. Oh, you! You cheeky posty, you! <laughs> um, if ever, you know, if you want to pop in and have a drink or a chat, well, we don't get that many people my age coming in this pub, and you and me, you know, we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> Look, I'm not gay! <laughs> They're definitely not on the same wavelength at all if that dude is trying to avoid you that much. I'm sorry. I'm not gay. <laughs> You're not fooling anyone but yourself, Steve. <laughs> Just accept it. A mouth's a mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I gotta say, I gotta, I gotta say, bro. It was one time, and anybody that knows anything about New York City probably has heard of Times Square. I, I, I'm going to tell you right now. Times Square has to be one of the worst neighborhoods to hang out in. Only thing for New Yorkers around there is if you want to try to pick up girls that are... And, that are visiting the city. Only thing. 
if not, other than that, and, and for tourists, I would even suggest you go there. Other than looking at a bunch of lights and be like, ooh, lights, tall buildings. It's horrible place. It's horrible. Too many people, nowhere to move. Horrible place. But I, but they have a port authority over there. It's a, it's a bus, it's a bus terminal. So you, it's, it's one of the easiest places to get in and out of the city. So one day I was taking a bus. I, well, I was waiting. I was like a, like a couple hours early, like I always am, to take a bus out of the city. Probably about an hour and a half early. I usually don't get online until at least like 40 minutes, 45 minutes beforehand. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I'm standing outside. I'm smoking a cigarette. This dude gets into a whole conversation with me. First, he asked me for a light. So I'm like, okay, cool. Whatever, give you a light. Dude starts talking to me. Then he starts getting into all this weird stuff like that. And I'm just, and he's just like, a mouth to mouth, right? And I'm just like, I don't know about that. I I I roll my I roll my way. You could you, all respect. You could do what you like, but if I look down, I want to see something I like. And he's like, and he, but he kept on, and he started to ask me, "How big is it?" Yep. Y'all already know what I mean. YouTube, I don't mean what they think I mean. Leave me alone, YouTube. But, um, they, I, I was just looking at him like, I don't, like, I, I, I was all thrown off. Dude, yo, dude really went from, like, it's a, a mouth is a mouth to, like, oh, I'll pay you just to let me see it. And I'm just like, bro, I got a bus to catch in, in like, in about an hour. I don't rock that way. Like, I'm cool with you doing what you're going to do. But this conversation is taking a hard, a hard left. Early. I ain't about to tell you all that. You ain't gonna see nothing. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, you you offer you offer me about ten thousand dollars. Maybe I'll let, you, I'll let you see it. But I know that wasn't in, in, in his budget. And I was just like. Yeah, I literally just got the point. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. nah, you you gotta go. You you got leave me alone, leave me alone. And, and he starts apologizing and stuff. I'm like, no, nah, I don't care. Leave me alone, bro. A mouth is not just a mouth. I know what he wanted to do. He want he wanted to test that theory on me. I was not rocking with it. So there you go. All your tourists thinking about going, coming to New York City, do not go to Times Square. Do not. It's not even anything special. It's just a bunch of lights. Go, go, go to the real tourist attractions like Statue of Liberty and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. I'm sorry for that rant. You're gonna be late for work, and we wouldn't want the governor to find out. Off chopstick legs, nice chopstick legs, but still chopstick legs. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, Jesus Christ, you bull! I would not walk into on anybody's room who's making that type of noise. I'm just saying. <sighs> Why would you walk oh, Jesus in? Jesus Christ, you 
Christ, you bald pervoid. What kind of sick porno is this? How dare you? This is not pornography. This is a video of my wife giving birth to my boy. <laughs> no one could find that sexually arousing. Even without the baby, it was a push. <laughs> Sorry, bullet head. God. It's just I saw the tissues and... <laughs> Jesus, that's fucking shocking. Oh, I'll tell you, to see one's wife in such agony, torture and physical anguish was a rare privilege. <laughs> One that every man should capture on videotape if he possibly can for repeated reruns later. Uh, a long labour, was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, dear me, yes, it was. <laughs> Eventually, he was born by a caesarean section. I'll have to tell you now, with my hand on my heart, that that was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, Christ, I mean, I know we weren't getting on, but then the dock cuts are open. <laughs> You've got to be careful what you wish for in this life. <laughs> I miss my boy, this. <laughs> oh. Janet! I'm rushed off me feet down here. <laughs> you should be getting on. Not to work, I mean. I don't want you getting on anything else. <laughs> I mean, you should be getting off. To work, not with me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can fire his mate. And look, your luck will change soon. Really? <laughs> I think I'd better be getting downstairs. All right, I'll be down in a minute, love. This is the best bit. Who else remembers VHS tapes, though? Who else remembers VHS tapes, though? Not this DVR stuff, but v where you could just record or, or rewind or set up a record, but where you had to hit record at right when you wanted to start recording. I remember. I remember. This is last. What do you call it again, Gov? It's the dog's dinner, Terry. <laughs> the dog's dinner. <laughs> I'll get it. How do you make it? It's the dog's dinner, Terry. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a funny name, but what's in it? It's the dog's dinner, Terry. <laughs> Gary was off his food last night. Seemed to shame let it go to waste. <laughs> Got any more? <laughs> Steve. Mmm, taste that marrow bone goodness. Ew. Oh, taste the goodness of your marrow bone, Steve. Right? Leave me alone. I'll just stop playing hard to get, then I can start playing getting you hard. Hardwoods. Oh my <laughs> god. Yo, this two just need a hookup with her already. She be throwing herself at him. She be throwing herself at him. But I gotta say. Because I've worked with a real sick dude before. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it, but but we used to make sick jokes. And we were just... We were, we were like, while we were waiting... We would go to this deli. Where they would make sandwiches. But right across from where they would make the sandwiches... Like, on the other... Like, they had the counter. And then the... And he was behind them making the sandwiches. And behind us would be the pet food. And he would always be like, yo, I bet you, I bet you, you could put, you could throw this down next to some rice or something and feed this to somebody and they would even realize. And the messed up thing is, I think he was right. There's, I, I. All I knew after that moment was I I will never eat anything you give me. You want to try this? No, I'm good. I'm good, bro. No, no, thank you. And spas. Did oh, you know that? I wish you'd stop talking over her. I never get to hear the end of her sentences with you shouting like that. <laughs> oh, good God, Gov. I'm feeling a bit rough. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Hold on, Terry. Aren't you barred? Am I, Gov? Yeah, you are. 
Well, you put a saddle on Gary and we're charging local kids 50p for a ride around the car park. <laughs> Poor dog. Like he's not eating. He loved doing it. If you looked at his little face, you could tell that he understood. No, Terry, you've been no. a daddy this time. You bloody crossed the line. You were gonna... Jesus Christ, what's this? It's just the post. No, I don't believe it. It's from them. <laughs> I've waited my whole life for a letter from them and now I... Hi. 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 Oh, Christ. My volume's all the way up, right? Shut up, Fred right? is dead. <laughs> no, he's not your plank. He's breathing. Look. Oh. Sorry. Oh, we need some smelling salts. Ah, will ordinary salt do? Uh, no. What about pepper? No. <laughs> Oh, well, I think I can help you there. <laughs> oh, no. No, thanks, Terry. I'm fine, mate. Thank you. So, uh, why are we having kittens, bullet head? Gaff. Well, Janet, unless I'm very much mistaken, I am finally under consideration to join the Grand Order of the Bar Stewards. <laughs> bar Stewards. The Grand Order of the what? The Bar Stewards. <laughs> I'm serious. Get out of it, bastards. <laughs> Is something amusing you? Oh, well, yeah, bastards. You know, as in you stupid bastard. How <laughs> <laughs> dare you mock the grand order of the bastards? <laughs> Stop it! Well, what is the grand order of the... <laughs> Shut up! The whatchamacallits, anyway. The grand order of the... <laughs> the G.O.B. <laughs> The Grand Order of the Bar Stewards is a secret organisation with a thousand year history of secret secrecy and furtive mystery, so wrapped in secrets and secrecy that if I was to reveal any one of the secrets therein, I'd have to kill each and every one of you. Oh, go on, tell us a secret. <laughs> no. But we wouldn't tell anyone, would we? No. I'd have to kill you all. It'd be worth it to know the secret. <laughs> no! Secret! I said! The Grand Order of the Bar Stewards is a registered secret organisation devoted to dressing up in regalia, shaking hands in an unusual way, and raising money for minibuses for the poor and or nutty kiddies. It also secretly controls all the world's governments, media and religions. Cool, unusual handshakes. I love unusual handshakes. Terry, how did you know all that? It's in the letter. <laughs> what part of top secret and private, only to be opened by the addressee, did you not understand? Addressee. <laughs> Fair enough. Give it here. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh, Christ, the bike, the 12 disciples and the 12 seat tandem. That's a dodecarandum. It's happening. It's really happening. Oh, have you ever wanted something so bad that you're actually afraid of getting it? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The bar stewards are sending down a delegation to see if I and my pub reach their highly exacting standards. Ah, oh, well, it's the taking part that counts. <laughs> You're coming this afternoon at two. That doesn't give us much time. Oh, I cannot stress the weight the bar stewards place on a hygienic facility. Janet, clean the gins. Oh, what an incredible honour. <laughs> Yeah, hey God. I know I'm not what you would call a good Christian, or even really a Christian at all. <laughs> See, there's not going to church or believe in you, God, or your boy Jesus. <laughs> or your boy Jesus. The Holy Ghost is somewhat far-fetched for me. I also know I only pray to you when I really, really want something. Give me this, oh God, and I promise to you, I promise that I, that I. We'll never bother you again. All right. Get in here, quick, bullet head. This a bit of be good. It's flooded. The rain must have got in. Ew. Rain, darling. What kind of bathroom? Oh my god! And he said, "It ain't rain, darling." 
Oh my god. <coughs> That's so nasty. That is so nasty. This a bit be good. It's flooded. The rain must have got in. <laughs> that ain't rain, darling. Ew. What a shit house, shit house. There's nothing wrong with it. You're joking, right? It's fucking shocking. It's feral. Look at the graffiti. I am 12 inches. Do you want me? It depends on how big his cock is. <laughs> you know, it's like he's 12 inches high in it. Oh, forget it. What does it mean, what? 12 inches? He's lying. Exaggerating. No one's that big. No, there's not enough blood in human body. <laughs> I can assure you there is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way these toilets really clean them they are. It's the nature of toilets to be like this. It's natural. All toilets are like this. Want a bit, stubble bumps? Fuck on, ladies. Go! No man can cross that threshold. I was never confused. Just get in there, you break a laugh. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Well, it's an eye-opener, all right. It's more wonderful than I could ever have imagined. <laughs> to think of the incredible things that have gone on in here. Can I just tell you, I went to a high school. That ha they had to have a meeting about how nasty the, the bathrooms were. And I'm going to tell you right now. They started with the guys... Because the girls were worse. I heard, I, I heard who, the, from the people that was cleaning those used female hygiene things that they put up there left on the floor. Not even tried to be flushed down. Just on the floor. Don't any of y'all females try to try to act like y'all more hygienic than us when it comes to a bathroom that you don't have to clean. I'm sorry. That we might we might miss the ball every now and then, but from what I heard and from what I've never seen, it was just secondhand information. But all the te all the female teachers came in and basically agreed, yeah, we're more disgusting than us. Thank you very much. It's been your truly hungover hermit with a hygiene seminar. Let's keep going. On. Where are the you rhinos? How can women live like this? It's no, no, no. It's what the bastards will expect the gents to be like. The bar stewards. Yeah, but you've seen the gents. There ain't time. Look, I'm guessing that all the bastards are men, right, Bullethead? Bar stewards. Gov. <clears throat> yeah, no woman is allowed to enter the lodge. And I bet all of them would rather die than go in the ladies. But how does that help us? The ladies is fine. <sighs> exactly, Dunderbrain. Change the names. <laughs> Change the, yeah, there we go. I, like I was saying, change the damn names. Get it? You're a genius. I could kick. I mean, shake you firmly by the hand, you know. <laughs> it's been a year. Is he giving you an unusual handshake? I love unusual handshakes. <laughs> Is he? Would you like to see an unusual handshake, Steve? Would you? Oh, would I mm. love to. <laughs> 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 too unusual for my taste, to be honest. <laughs> Can I ask somebody why he splits his episodes into one part one, part two, but it's the same episode? Like I, I, I've literally been confused about that since episode one, and we're here on episode five. I haven't said anything, but why does that happen? Please, someone tell me down in the comments. Please, someone tell me down in the comments. Right, everyone 
your best behaviour. Now remember, you don't know anything about this, because the Grand Order's secret, right? What Grand Order? That's the way, Pops. No, really, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, the fading of the light. And who knows? <laughs> Maybe if I become a member one day, I shall achieve my true dream and become King Bar Steward. <laughs> Right. No, the elected head of the bar stewards is called the King Bar Steward. No way, King Bar Steward. You King Bar Steward? Stop it! <laughs> and Terry, for the next half hour, mate, please, no farting. Half an hour. Violet Splode Gun. I wonder Ew. who they'll send. Please, God. I know I said I'd never bother you again, but this is really an addendum to my previous inquiry and not a separate prayer in treaty. <laughs> so whoever they send, mate, please, not Greg Thompson. Anyway, but Greg Thompson. Dave, Mike, Barry. Thanks, God. I owe you one, Squire. Cheers! Let's hear it for the beer. Cheers! All hail to the ale. Cheers! And welcome the wine. For the leaves. <laughs> We're all rooting for you. <laughs> all right, Slops. Uh, did I miss a toast? Oh, oh my God, this guy is back. <laughs> what an unexpected pleasure. Got you, bastard! I'll get you for this! <laughs> dear, oh dear, what a toilet. Well, I suppose we better go for the motions. After what I saw on the last episode, someone needs to fight this man. He be talking too much. I'm sorry. Someone need. Someone need. Just hit him square in the nose. Just hit him square in the nose. I do not promote violence, YouTube. But this guy, someone hit him square in the nose, please. Rooting for you. <laughs> All right, Slops. Oh, did I miss a toast? Just parking up the jacks, huh? Craig, what an unexpected pleasure. Got you, bastard. I'll get you for this. <laughs> dear, oh dear, what a toilet. Well, I suppose we better go for the motions, eh, chaps? Before rejecting him. I trust no one knows why we're here. Oh, no, of course not, Greg. It is great to meet you guys. I'm your biggest fan. I'd love to be a bar steward. This barman thing, yeah, it's just temporary. Shake my hand, eh? Go on. I love unusual handshakes. <laughs> Still, this gap's not all that bad. It's got one or two attractive features. Well, two. All right, my lovely. I'm sorry, Tickets, didn't you know? The cookers only spring out of my nipples on the hour. <laughs> You just missed it. Yeah, good one. Ah, an Aussie. Bread for bar work. It's instinct. Instinct! <laughs> Don't give slops any marks for that. It's going to be working for me by the end of the month. For me? Work for you. I'd rather give birth to Ears Rock. <laughs> yeah, good one. Do you even know what Ears Rock is? Nah. <laughs> be nice to him, please. I need this. Oh, dear, slops. That's not your telly, is it? Oh, no, ours has been repaired. You know, we've got a widescreen, 22-inch, uh, you know, Nike stereo, speakers, BBC, the lot. Have we? Well, why don't you ever put it up, then? <laughs> See, I measure mine in feet, not inches. TV, I mean. You know, at the Queen of Arts, we've got one of those massive screens as big as the wall. Pulls in the punters like flies around shit. <laughs> Bam. Oh, dear, what a pity, never mind. Right, gents. Time to test the beer. Stephen? As you can see, my staff's bar skills are second to none. Oh, oh Steve, you toilet! Oh, Barry, I'm sorry, mate. No, no, don't. Don't, 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 don't worry. Accidents will happen. But well, why wouldn't he have the... the, the uh, what's her name? Janet or whatever? Do that. Obviously, she's better. As you can see, my staff's bar skills are second to none. Oh, oh Steve, you toilet! Oh, Barry, I'm sorry, mate. No, no, don't. Don't, 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 don't worry. Accidents will happen. <laughs> You're doing fine. <laughs> this beer is over 90% water. Oh, well. Well done, Slops. At least you passed on something, eh? <laughs> All right, next up, the gents. 
Can I let one go? I, I don't feel well. No, Jerry. Hold it in. Go outside. Of course. At the Queen of Arts, we've changed the ladies to the dice and the gents to the doddies. It's what she would have wanted. <laughs> it's what who would have wanted. All right, then, Slops, lead the way. Right. No, Slops! <laughs> we don't want to go to the ladies, do we? That would never do. No, Barry! <laughs> we might all be curious about what goes on in there, but we were never confused, were we? Never confused. <laughs> never confused. <laughs> right, Slops, lead the way. Christ! This is impressive. Very impressive. Not a colour I'd have chosen mine. I cannot tell you how much weight the bar stewards put on a hygienic facility. Thanks, Barry. <laughs> Where were the you rhinos? They were here this morning, I'm sure of it. Oi, piss off! We're busy in here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bullet head needs this. We've got to help him. And why would you want to help him? You hate the gov. I just want to wipe that wanker's grin off Thompson's face. And who knows, Bullyhead might even be grateful. He might give me my wages and I can get my ticket home. Ah. The defeat one enemy, she allies herself with their mutual opponent. Fascinating example of moral duality. As uh, best exemplified in the Star Trek Voyager two-parter score. <laughs> Facing the Borg. Look, I can't hold it in much longer. Just stick a cork in it, guess, Pence. Could you stick a cork in there for me, sweetheart? Well, if your next consignment of pistachios is of similar quality, I shall be forced to buy my luxury oh, huts no. elsewhere. Yes, I'm afraid oh, now we no. are playing hardball. <laughs> Hello. I already see it. She's going to go into the one that's now able, ladies. I already see it coming. I already see it coming. Go outside, oh, no, bro. Uh, Miss Jackson. Greg. All right, my cherry pie. Love the outfit. Oh, this old thing, look at it. Does my bum look big in this? Yes. <laughs> Boy, looks all right from where I'm sitting. Anywho. Wait, wouldn't that be a good thing, though? Or is this where they only like skinny chicks? Because a, a fat... I'm trying to censor myself for for uh, YouTube, but a, a fat donkey. The other word for donkey, you already, you guys should already know, is highly appreciated nowadays. Let's just put it that way. Apologies for my tardiness. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson, but you have called it a most inopportune time. Wake up and smell the cappuccino slops. You see, Vicky is the new keeper of innkeepers. Eh? Hey? Tony Harris is the keeper of innkeepers. No slops. You see, Fatty Harris got a boot, didn't he? So that position passes down to lovely Vicky. But Ms. Jackson is a... He's a woman! Troller. Cool slops. You don't have to accept membership if you don't like it. Not that you'll have that choice. It's not over till it's over, Greg. You're going great guns. <laughs> He gonna next. fail. Ooh, she gonna go in the bathroom. Like Master Chef, you know, with Lloyd Griezmann. Yeah. <laughs> Do you watch that program? Nah. <laughs> what are the lunches like here, pal? Oh, uh, um, they're lush. And what is that you're eating? Uh, it's dog fish. <laughs> yeah, that's right, dogfish. Dogfish. Well, I've heard of catfish, but ah, uh -uh, well, the dogfish, uh, Mustelus canis, is a particularly common type of small shark. Very shark. Oh, that's most impressive fit. Well, let's see what it tastes like first, eh, Barry? May I? No. <laughs> Be my guest. I wonder what little. Ah! No! No! Ah! Sorry about that, Barry. That's all right. It could happen anywhere. <laughs> You're doing fine. So, uh, where do we go from here? Is it down to the lake, I fear? <laughs> or should we just go into the snug for the interview? <sighs> Poor Bullet Head. It's not looking good for him. I know. If only we did have a widescreen TV, it might all be different. Wait a minute, he has got a widescreen TV. It's in his room. I saw it this morning. Oh? 
And what were you doing in his room? Ooh. I was shagging him. <laughs> now, if Tickets and his bastards mates see the widescreen TV down here, that might be enough to swing it. Let's go. Terry, mind the bar. You bet. Cross, keep an eye on that ass. With pleasure. <laughs> I was wondering, was it oh you that wrote the graffiti in the toilet? Oh, and uh, what if it was? It's just there's no apostrophe in inches. <laughs> 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 oh no. Right. Let's have a look at the scores on the doors. <laughs> well, Governor, I'm uh, sorry to have to inform you that we are recommending you for membership. <laughs> I know, it's mega, isn't it? No, I ain't bloody mega, and I ain't having it, slops, over my dead body. It's a majority decision, Greg. You have to accept it. But the place is a shithole. Mm. But the toilets. The toilets. In all my life, I've never seen anything like them. I want you all to know that I'm going to be registering my disapproval at the next uh, committee uh, meeting. I know. Come off it, Greg. He got it fair and square. Thanks, Uncle Barry. <laughs> right. I've got the powder my nose. And uh, I don't mean I'm going to take some cocaines. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to the toilet. Switch the sign. Switch the gut. Oh my god. You're right there, Terry? Yeah, no problem at all. <laughs> oh, look, Gov. The widescreen TV's back from the repair shop. Still not working, though. Ha! That doesn't matter, Stephen. Because it looks as though from now on I am going to be a member of the. <laughs> Bastards! <laughs> that is the most disgusting toilet I've ever been in in my life! And I've been camping in France! <laughs> Dear pub entertainment slops. No, no, no. It's my wife. All oh, right. Lovely, Harris. <laughs> oh my God. Right. I shouldn't have eaten all that dog food. <laughs> dog food. <laughs> Terry. Terry. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, did the membership go through? No. You were sick on them. I served them dog food, and they thought I was running a knocking shop for sadomasochistic perverts. <laughs> yeah, but did you get the membership? No. <laughs> but I'm still hopeful for next year. Oh, and it isn't all bad news. Greg Thompson was made King Bar Steward. <laughs> <laughs> How could they misinterpret that video? What kind of diseased mind would conceive of using such a magical and natural moment for masturbatory purposes. What? <laughs> Ew. Terry? Yep. Give me the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Garth. Ew. Ew. Ew! Ew! Okay. I already, but I called it. I called it. As soon as she showed up, I was like, "Yo, she's gonna go into the the relabeled bathroom." I'm like, "Oh, all they have to do is switch it real quick." When he was upstairs with them, switch it. Cause the other ones had already seen it. All you had to do was switch it back. I'm done. I'm done. I'll see you on the next one. I, I don't even got anything else to say. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it with me. Cheers. I'll see you on the next.